Can I overclock the Vega 8i GPU on the Ryzen 3 2200G to 1600 MHz? Let's find out. So, in my previous overclocking video, I pushed the 2200G's core frequency to 4 GHz. But now, I'm a bit more interested in overclocking the Vega 8 graphics. Usually, you should be able to push the onboard Vega graphics to at least 1300 MHz. But some people are a bit more ambitious, and I've gotten the frequency up to 1600 MHz. And that is what I'm going to be attempting to do today. So I'm going to try and leave the CPU at 3.9 GHz, 4 GHz wasn't very stable, and overclock the iGPU to 1600 MHz. If it gets too hot whenever I run Prime95, then I'll dial back the CPU frequency to 3.85 GHz or lower. Now, let's boot into my motherboard's BIOS and see if I can get that iGPU to 1.6 GHz. So the overclock rendered my secondary monitor useless, but other than that, and any other time I tried to overclock this iGPU, Windows booted up and I was able to run some tests. Prime95 for around 15 minutes heated up the CPU and GPU to a max of about 95 degrees Celsius. It's a bit toasty, but I think AMD's max recommended temp for this chip is about 105 degrees Celsius. So if I'm wrong, comment below, but now that the overclocking is done, let's do some benchmarking. So I was messing around with MSI Afterburner for a while and made a little discovery. There's no temp for the GPU in Afterburner and Firmark. Hardware Monitor doesn't even have a GPU temp on my system. I went on and on with this for about half an hour until realizing the GPU is integrated on the chip. So really, the GPU and CPU temp should be exactly the same. All problems hopefully set aside, let's run some benchmarks. For the OpenGL test in Cinebench, I got 60.22 FPS. That's about a 5 frame increase compared to the stock speeds. In 3 d Mark Firestrike, I got a score of 2555, and in Skydiver, I... Hold on a minute, why is the benchmark slowing down every couple of seconds? And why is my 3.9GHz CPU underclocking to 600MHz and GPU to 202MHz? Oh, looks like I skipped over the GFX voltage and left it to the default. Alright, so let's try 1.3V... Oh, that's not right. Okay, let's set the CPU to... No, that's even worse. Okay, I'll set the GFX voltage to... Are you kidding me? Okay, so after lots of trial and error, I realized I didn't dial in the right number for this SOC voltage. After multiple reboots to see if I got it right, finally, I got 1.25 volts by checking the SOC status in my motherboard's BIOS. Alright, where was I? Alright. Oh, so in Skydiver, I got a score of nothing because I could never get past the lock screen without crashing. Even after rolling back drivers, reinstalling drivers, unplugging my monitor, clean installation of drivers, and even doing basic overclocks on the CPU and GPU, I still can't seem to win the silicon lottery. The funny thing is, my secondary monitor started to work fine right after all this got wrapped up, so I really got nowhere with my overclocks. I tried 1.25 and 1.2 volts for the SOC, and 1.3, 1.35, 1.4 volts for the GFX voltage. If there's anything I did wrong that you see and I don't, please let me know, but even putting the CPU to stock clock speeds and the GPU to 1300 MHz, I still get a green screen of death. Not blue, I'm using Windows Insider. Well, I guess that means I failed. So anyways, if this video entertained or educated you in any way, hit that like button. If it didn't, you know where to go. While you're there, consider subscribing to the channel. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.